Yes, they are. Hmm? I want to ask you something, man. Okay. I got to know. Aren't you just a little bit ticked off at your wife for sending you down here with some nasty old supper like that, man? No way, man. She did it in love. <laughs> love? Yeah. <laughs> that was a bag full of love. Yeah. <laughs> Artie, son, at your house, <coughs> love hurts. <laughs> and it stinks, too, son. <laughs> What yeah. has happened to you, man? I mean, I remember a couple years ago when you, man, you just slapped that woman upside the head for doing something like that. What's wrong? It's all because of what I was talking to you about the other day. Hey, 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 if you give any more thought to it. Oh, Artie, man, you talking about Christianity and me giving my heart to God and stuff like that? Exactly. Man, yeah, I've thought about it, Artie, but well, listen, man, I got to tell you something. That Christianity stuff is, Artie, it's childish. Well, I know what you mean, but you got to see, Bo, the, the Bible says you had to come to Jesus in childlike faith and receive him into your heart. I know what the Bible says, Artie, but listen, man, i got to tell you something. I don't want to hurt your feelings or anything here, no, son, but no. listen, all I want to do is have a good time. You know, just go through the day and enjoy myself. I mean, is there anything wrong with that? Well, I, I used to feel the same way you did. Yeah, I know, man, because we used to party together all the time, man. Why don't we do that anymore? Well, man... I mean, after I asked the Lord Jesus Christ in my life, man, I do a whole lot of things different. Hey, I mean, I remember, yeah, now, listen, I, I remember me, you, and the guys, we'd go out on the weekends and drink and smoke and chase women and all that stuff. Oh, but, yeah. Man, I'll tell you what, Bo, at the end of the night, I'd go home, man. Man, I felt lonely, had this empty feeling inside, man. <laughs> and not to mention how I felt the next morning. Oh, yeah. Woo. But, man, you know, I was searching, and it was just getting old. Hey, you remember how I used to tell you how my wife used to bug me about going to church? Oh, yeah. She used to nag you about that stuff all the time. Well, Bo, I wish she'd have nagged me more. What? <laughs> man, that's like I'm saying, man. Because we got to go into church week after week, and they'd always give the invitation song, you know, and my wife, bless her heart, she'd lean over and nudge me and go, Honey, please go forward before mm -hmm. it's too late. And I used to think, are you crazy? Mm -hmm. But, Bo, all it was, man, I was just too embarrassed. I let my pride get in the way. But one night this evangelist came and spoke, and it just seemed like everything he was saying was speaking right to me, man. And that's when I began to realize that, that God loved me so much that he sent his only son Jesus to die on the cross for me. You see, Bo, Jesus was a sinless man. What's really neat, man, he was flesh and bone just like you and me and was willing to die for my sins and the sins of the entire world. And he did that at Calvary. And, man, what's really great, man, is this extra gift of eternal life. But Yet he just didn't die on that cross to wipe our sins clean, Bo. But he rose from the dead three days later. He did what? Yes, he did. And when he rose again, that gives us hope for eternal life. I mean, it says in the Bible, he goes to prepare a place for us in heaven. So, man, I'll tell you what. When they gave that invitation song that night, man, I practically got up and ran down to the altar. That's where you see the tremendous change in my life. <clears throat> I can't argue with that, Artie, man. You really have changed. I mean, I remember how it used to be with us. Me and you and, and these guys here. <laughs> oh, son, we'd get out in the bars almost every night after work, man. And we'd get in there and we'd start drinking and smoking and stuff and carrying on before too long. Man. We'd end up like three seats to the wind, brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then and then we'd get up and try to go to work the next morning. Yeah. Three, three shades of green. <laughs> man. Yeah, man, that's <clears throat> what it days, you know? Yeah, they are. <laughs> but, you know, now, Artie, it's like... It's like we come in green, and you come in with that big old smile on your face every day, man. So what you're trying to tell me is that, uh, that Jesus puts that smile on your face? Exactly, Bo. And he'll give you joy and happiness, too. I mean, but don't get me wrong. I mean, it's not going to take away all your problems. But I tell you what, it's so much easier going through lots of problems with Jesus by your side. It's like that evangelist said. You don't have to be super spiritual and know the Bible like the back of your hand. Right. <laughs> but all God wants you to do is take that one step of faith and accept Jesus into your heart as your Lord and Savior. <clears throat> Artie, man, I don't know. I mean, this, this is old Bo we're talking about here. You know what I mean? Well, listen, I'll tell you what, man. What if I come to church with you Sunday morning? How would you like that? Hey, man, that, that'd be great. I'll be there, buddy. Bo, man, I gotta tell you, man. Mm -hmm. The Bible says today is the day of salvation. We're not guaranteed another moment. You remember a couple of weeks ago, right over in Lane Four, Bob Wright, 
Oh, yeah. I mean, man, he dropped dead of a heart attack. Oh. I mean, we just don't know when our time's coming up. I mean, Jesus has come back this very moment now. I tell you what, why don't you give your heart to Jesus right now? We still got time for those guys come back. Artie, how does somebody like me just, just give their heart to God? It's simple, Bo. You just pray and ask Jesus to come into your heart, but man, you just don't say those words. You've got to believe and have faith. <laughs> faith. Yeah, I remember hearing about that in Sunday school. Yeah. I'll tell you what. I think I need to. I think I really need to give my heart to God. That's great, man. Let's pray. <clears throat> pray. <laughs> Are you, you want me to pray? Yeah. Right here. Yeah. On lane seven. <laughs> Oh, son, man, that, all the leagues are watching here, man, and I am not going to stand Bo, up. Bo, wait a minute, wait, 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 listen, man. Right now, why you still have a chance? Before it's too late. All right, let's do it, then. Bo, just repeat this prayer after me, and like I said, you really mean it for me, all right? I will. Sure. <clears throat> dear Jesus, dear Jesus, I ask you to come into my life. I ask you to come into my life. I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. Write my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. Write my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. Help me to live for you from this day forward. Help me, God, to live for you from this day forward. I give my heart to you, Jesus. I give my heart to you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <laughs> you Amen. done it, man. Artie. You did it. Artie, son, I feel different inside. Man. Amen. And I feel man. like something has come in and just cleaned me up, boy. Oh, yes. Artie, man, it's exciting, awesome, man. man. All I want to do, I just want to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.